The weight of the pandemic is lifting, but many still carry its burden on their shoulders. Madeline O'Neill joins us now to explain how reports of mental health issues have spiked during the pandemic and what help is out there, Maddie. Well, Eric, Boston College researchers have found reports of depression and anxiety increased sixfold for Americans in 2020. Another study shows nearly a third of acute COVID survivors ended up with post-traumatic stress disorder. And even though we're in a much different place this time than we were this time last year, related pandemic related mental health challenges can linger or even emerge. We have had stress after stress after stress. The pandemic's clouds are clearing. The end isn't in sight. But for some, the storm continues. There isn't just a light switch for those problems go away. UW Health Distinguished Psychologist Shyla Mergain points to a survey showing more than half of Americans said their mental health had been adversely affected by the pandemic. It's taken a physical but also an emotional toll. She says the hardest hit groups include those with existing mental health challenges, essential workers, communities of color, parents of young children, and young people themselves. They really kind of bore the brunt of this, um, especially in terms of the social isolation that they experienced. Family medicine doctor Rupa Shaw with SSM Health has seen more of a demand for mental health resources, especially from adolescents and young adults. We're gonna see the effects of this sort of reverberate through our um, communities and society for a long time to come. The effects can stick with individuals too. Many who upped their substance use, started overeating or or losing sleep. Know that you're not alone. Shaw recommends some self-care. Maybe things you don't normally do, but taking just better care of yourself and then not having any guilt about it. Along with reaching out to your primary care physician to determine if you need professional help. With increased telehealth options, weakening stigma around talking about mental health and the world opening up again. I do honestly believe we're going to come out of this more resilient. Shaw and Morgane are looking at the silver linings. So I think it can be a springboard to a new, better chapter in our lives because we'll really appreciate it. Shaw says it can take longer than she'd like for people to make appointments for their mental health, but telehealth services can open up new options for people.